Ah, <sighs> when's Jake gonna get here? I don't know. It's running late. Yeah, which is a switch. Usually you're the one running late. Just saying. Yeah, is that right? Mm, pretty much. It's kind of hurtful. Especially because I can jump higher than you can. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Well, big deal. I can fly an airplane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't fly an airplane, but I can break dance. Oh. Oh, I don't think I can do anything cooler than that. Oh, wait. How about this? I have a quadcopter. Top that. That's cute. Cute. Yeah, it's cute. That's six axis gyro. That's a yeah. piece of technology That's right there. That's nothing. Check this Excuse out. Excuse me. Oh, oh hey, hold on. No, you this is good. You can't fly that in here. No, I, I'm very good at this. No way. No, I am you good. You cannot fly that in here. No, I can. Check it out. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Mine's okay. cooler than yours. Do you have? You have quadcopter envy. <laughs> Richie in the Sonic Dad Studios to bring you another preview of the project that will come out next week. A couple of weeks ago I was watching a video that Grant Thompson had just uh, put up on his channel. His channel is called The King of Random and if you haven't checked it out you really should. He has some amazing videos and some very cool projects. I was watching the video he made of this project which is his mini matchstick gun. Uh, very cool, very simple and clean design. A lot of fun to build and shoot. And after playing with this, it got me thinking that it would be really fun to come up with a Sonic Dad project that would shoot a match or a, a projectile about the same size. So I played around with a lot of different designs and finally came up with one that I'm really happy with. So project number 56 is the Sonic Micro Crossbow. It's going to be a skill level four, about a one hour build with the included target. It's made from regular popsicle sticks, some metal hair barrettes and some embroidery floss. So I have here some of the prototypes that I used to develop this project and uh, refine the design. This is the final version here. One of the things I really wanted to do was to keep the design as simple as possible. You can see the uh, metal hair barrettes um, are the limbs of the bow, just like the last project that we did, the Sonic Longbow. The frame is made from uh, regular popsicle sticks. There's no painting involved in this project. I just used a black permanent marker to uh, color the sticks black. I think it gives it a nice look. The uh, embroidery floss is the bowstring, and I also use it to wrap the grip on the crossbow. I think it makes it look nice. And of course, you can use any color embroidery floss you want to, to make any color crossbow. One of the most difficult parts of this design I found was uh, the trigger mechanism. And early on, on prototypes that I'm not showing here, I actually had a trigger mechanism and uh, found that that got uh, pretty complicated very quickly. So I knew I had to come up with something that was really simple and really, really happy with the final design of the trigger mechanism. You can see it here on top of the rails. It's actually a little slot. And the way it works is you put a finger on each side of the rail, pull it back until the string drops in the slot. And uh, that holds the string back so you can load the bolt. You can, uh, of course, use a kitchen match. If you have young kids and you want something maybe a little safer, a little softer tip, you can use a Q-tip cut off one of the ends and that works very well. I really like shooting matches. I find that they fly uh, a lot straighter than the Q-tips and there's a reason behind that and uh, I will see if I can demonstrate that here. If you balance the match on your finger, um, that is the center of gravity right there because um, the match tip um, has some mass and so what happens is You'll, you'll notice that the center of gravity of the match is ahead of this, the, the exact middle of the match, and that would represent the center of pressure where the surface area is equal on both sides. So what that means is the center of gravity is ahead of the center of pressure. So that's what uh, helps it fly straight most of the time. Most of the matches fly straight. So if I hold the match on about the center of gravity, you'll notice that there's a lot more of the tail sticking out the back than there is of the match on the front because of the mass of the tip. So that is what 
keeps it stable and flying straight is uh, the surface area on the tail. There's more of it than there is surface area on the front. So I really like shooting the match uh, in the crossbow. So I will uh, demonstrate how this shoots with one of these matches. Just uh, put it in the slot in between the rails like that. I like to hold the frame with my left hand and put my right hand on the grip. And the way you fire this crossbow is very simple. You just put your thumb under the string and a little bit of pressure up and it will push the string out of the slot and fire the crossbow. So I will demonstrate and uh, fire the match up on this side here. So just like that. So that is project number 56, the Sonic Micro Crossbow. I really had a lot of fun designing this and uh, refining it. Uh, it's a great project. I hope you enjoy building it. I think you'll have a lot of fun with it. So if you like what we do, please like this video, comment below, subscribe to our channel, and also check us out on Facebook, like our Facebook page. We appreciate your support very much. So until next time, I'm Richie with SonicDad.com. Now it's your turn to go build something cool. Cute. All right. I mean cute. Yeah, no problem. That's got a six axis gyro on it. It's pretty cool. That's a piece of technology right there. It's not cute. <laughs> Are you okay? I don't think I can fly this thing in here. <laughs>